Hi. Have you ever had a uh, dream, a pursuit, a desire in your heart to do something with your life that you thought might be your purpose in this life? Well, I had this and and I, I had a few different things that I thought might be my purpose in life and found out that they weren't. When, before I gave my life to Christ, um, I used to perform in nightclubs. I was a vocalist and I was pretty good. And uh, I used to get up on stage and, uh, and I just had this rush for me. I just, it was like, I knew this is what I'm supposed to be. And then uh, I would sing, I would perform. And then, then when I was done, I would have people walk up to me and, and they would praise me for what I did. They would, uh, uh, they would tell me that I had a beautiful voice and that, uh, that I had a gift. And uh, it would feel great for a moment. But then I noticed that within like a, a couple of minutes, after they got through glorifying me, praising me, and telling me how awesome of a singer I was, I got this empty feeling inside like is this all there is is this all there is to this uh is to get up here to sing and to receive self-glory and then it only felt good for a moment uh, i realized that there was a longing in my heart for something more now i thought i pursued other things uh, and different reasons why i pursued music i thought well maybe i'm supposed to pursue music uh, I might, it might make me rich, it might make me famous, I could get lots of women, like lots of money, lots of uh, everything, and plus I get glory from people. But the more that I pursued, the emptier it became. And then I began to pursue other things, re uh, relationships and, and drugs and, and other things to where, uh, you know, temporarily I would feel good, but then eventually, it led to destroying me and, and destroying uh, everything that I had and, and hurting those who loved me. But, uh, and that was because I found out that the true desire in my heart was a void that was there that God had placed in my heart. And that void is a longing for God. Even before I gave my life to Christ, I had this longing in my heart, but I didn't know what it was. And I pursued it through other means. Uh, that's why you notice that so many rock stars, so many uh, uh, famous people, uh, you hear about them ODing on drugs or committing suicide or pursuing relationship after relationship because they're just, or dealing with depression because they all have that longing and they're, and they're trying to find it in the wrong places. Uh, like that old song, uh, looking for love in all the wrong places. Um, this week we're reading in, in uh, 2 Corinthians 5 uh, in our reading plan, in our yearly reading plan. And 2 Corinthians 5 says, For we know that if that tent that is our earthly home is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this tent we groan, longing to put on our heavenly dwelling. Now what this is talking about is that Deep aside, we long to put on our new glorified bodies that God is going to give us when we leave this life. And um, the reason why, it's not just because we want the new glorified body, it's because in this glorified God body, we can stand in the presence of God. That, that longing there that we have is to be closer to God, to have more of God. And in that new heavenly body, we'll be able to stand in His presence, to actually look upon the face of God. And that's what that true desire is. Uh, even before we are saved, we have that desire, that longing, because we were created to love God and to be loved by God. We were created to be as sons and daughters of God. And so we long in our hearts, even before we give our life to Christ. So even before we give our life to Christ, we have that longing in our hearts to, uh, for the adoption as sons and daughters of God. If you look back in Romans, the eighth chapter, 23rd verse, this is, and not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for the adoption as sons. See, this is talking about before we accept 
Christ and we are adopted as a child of God. We have that groaning within us for the adoption. And so that's what that true longing is. And, and, and we have that adoption. And we can come into the presence of the living God and fulfill our true purpose in this life. And it's through the blood of Jesus Christ. And, and through the blood, we have acceptance. We have restoration. We can now, we have gone through the veil and we can now stand in the presence of the living God. We can love on God and we can be loved by God and blessed by Him and receive everything that He has for us. So l take a good look at that longing in your heart because that longing, that true longing, is a void that is waiting for God. David said, he says, as the deer panteth for the water, so my soul longeth for thee. So long for God, accept Jesus, and you can come into the very presence of God and fulfill that purpose that God has given each and every one of us in this life. And this is the heart of devotion.